and it'll change to start and then click start FTP server to reload the settings in the server. Um, other than that, you can also do that from the command line by typing, uh, I guess I could show you, by typing service as root, uh, service VS FTP D stop and then VS FTP start or VS FTP restart to do both. Um, other than that, the only tab you need to be concerned with over here, the only uh, option is users. That's it. Um, believe it or not, access control and all this other stuff, unless you're very, very advanced, you don't need any of that crap. Just users. Go to the anonymous user tab. Uncheck the box for anonymous users. Then click the system users tab. Make sure allow local users is checked. Then right here, change root directory for the users to their home directories. Check that um, because you're going to be wanting to put them somewhere. I actually don't even know what happens if you don't check that box. Um, I can't remember. It's been so long. All right. Now, I'm going to uncheck this for the moment. Now, remember before when I said that you had the option to give each user, when it logs in, besides their home directory that their system home directory is logged into, uh, aside from that, you can specify a directory VS FTPD or the FTP server moves them into after they've successfully logged in. Now, here you can specify either a directory that everyone logs into, which means any account that logs into the system, regardless of what their home directory is, will be logged into whatever directory you specify here, period. Or you could leave this blank, and whatever you left in their system account as their home directory, that will be where they put, they're put when they logged in. That's why I said before, pay attention to what I'm saying, because now you're going to start to see where it's re relevant. Furthermore, you're gonna, I'm going to show you uh, another option where it's relevant again uh, here in a moment. But anyway, again, if you specify a directory at all in this option, then any user who logs in, despite what their home directory may be, is going to be moved into that directory. Now, depending on this option, some of the users will be stuck in that directory and cannot go upwards. They can only go down inside, further inside that directory structure. And some users will be able to go up out of that directory into other directories. Depends on what you do with this option, which we're going to discuss now. But first, I want to show you, right now as it is, anybody can log into your system. Uh, anybody with a valid user account for uh, your system can log in to the FTP server. Now go to System Administration SC Linux Management. Now I want to show you something. As it, like I said, as it stands, everybody with the system account is going to be able to log in. For example, we have I have a, an account for family members to log in and, and retrieve or even put files on my server. There it is. All right, so check it out. This, go to, uh, you open F SE Linux Administration, click on the Boolean option, uh, Boolean category, in the filter box, type FTP, hit enter, and then let me uncheck this option because it's not checked by default, which I'm about to tell you to check it uh, to show you what happens when they try to log in, which is why you have to further set up your server. All right. When a user tries to log in before adjusting SE Linux, you're going to get this message down here. As you see, it, I just clicked, I just clicked reconnect, and there is nothing here. If you look, most FTP clients. I also have a tutorial on using FTP clients on LinuxIntro.com. I'm not covering it in this article. This article is only for FTP servers. Uh, go to LinuxIntro.com, click on software, and then the internet subcategory, and then you'll, there'll be a Tutorial for FTP clients. Anyway, down here you're gonna uh, in the status area. You'll get an error at the very bottom to say fi error 500, and then it'll say cannot change directory to, and then whatever directory it tried to change to, and then below that it'll say disconnecting from site. A 500 error is a generic uh, error for web servers and FTP servers. It means denied access denied. That's a HTTP 500 or FTP 500 error. Um, access is being denied. 
by the system to the FTP server to change you into that directory so the FTP server has to deny you the ability to uh, log in. That's because by default SE Linux is denying people to log into the FTP server or log into the system and go th and navigate home uh, system directories. Everybody always says well disable SE Linux. Anytime anybody's got a problem with anything they always say disable SE Linux. That's the first thing anybody ever tells you to do. I'm telling you, don't disable SC Linux. That's a lazy man solution to an easy to fix problem. If you don't know the solution, go to linuxintro.com, ask your question in the forums. If I don't know it, go to fedoraforum.org and there's a, a system security forum there where there's actual gurus in there who know everything and anything about SE Linux. Um, anyway, you've already filtered down your FTP options uh, or your Boolean options to anything including FTP. So look for the one that says allow FTP servers to log in local users, meaning users with a system account, and read and write to all files on the system. That does not mean just because somebody is, just because you check this box, that people can go around your file system reading and writing and deleting shit. That just means that SE Linux will permit them to read and write to any files on the file system that the FTP server allows them to access. You have to control access with the FTP server and you have to control security permissions with system administration and security options that are beyond the scope of this article. But that this assumes that you know what the security settings need to be for your files and folders, uh, which you allow FTP server to uh, allow them to access, which is what we will cover. Now watch, and there you go, we're logged in. Now, as you see, we can go anywhere in the file system. We just went up, watch, let me, I'm sorry, let me reconnect. This is my videos directory. I got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of videos in here, uh, mostly uh, transcoded DVDs. Anyway, this is not the root directory, obviously. This is the system's root directory. And this is another, well, I can't go in there. That's, a, that's root directory. Um, but anyway, you, see, you get my point. They can move around. Uh, we don't want that. Well, depending, we might not want that for some users. We might for others. For example, uh, this user, I do not want that for. Login incorrect. Linux user. Let me try this again. Ah, uh, you know what? There you go. All right. This directory, I did not reload my permission settings after. You can close SE Linux. You don't need that no more. Uh, to, 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 to. All right. Now, this this user cannot move around, but the user that I want to move around cannot also move around. As you see now, this forward slash indicates that this user user is now in his root directory. It doesn't mean the system's root directory. It means this is the root directory for this user. This user is not allowed to go up any further. There is nothing upwards for this user. <clears throat> well, to change that, we got to go back down here to the Users tab. And remember, we're leaving this empty because we've got two different users on this system. Uh, one of them is my family members that I allowed, I think I already said this, that I allowed to view uh, files and copy files from my server and then maybe put some of their own on. Uh, and the other one is Linux users, random people from the internet who upload screenshots of their desktop or little clips of this and that um, of their special effects and stuff. Anyway, uh, 